Good morning, it's Thursday, October the 7th, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced show, bringing you the best press releases, along with the halts at the open so you can only profit from them, and potentially find your next great small cap investment. Folks, I got three great press releases for you this morning. They're all out of the Canadian side, they're all out of the resource sector, and I've got no halts to report on. So, without any further ado, let's get down to business. Our lead story comes out of a company called Minera Andes. They trade on the big board under the symbol MAI. The company is announcing the discovery of nine new high-grade gold silver veins plus important extensions to two other veins which together total more than five kilometers in strike length. Now I've got some highlights which include three of the separate veins and the numbers they've been hitting there. So we've got the Mycela vein. Uh, it's a 1380 meter strike length cut by 36 diamond drill holes. Highlights from that one include hole number 708 which returned two and a half meters grading eight grams per ton of gold and 1,500 grams per ton of silver, so great concentrations there. Hole number 786 returned one meter of 33 grams per ton of gold and 2,750 grams per ton of silver, so some great concentrations there. Moving on to their next vein, the Sophia vein, it's a 600 meter strike length, cut by 20 diamond drill holes, highlight there, 477, that's hole 477, returned one and a half meters of eight grams per ton of gold and 885 grams per ton of silver. And finally, we've got the Antonella vein, 870 meter strike length, cut by 13 diamond drill holes. Hole number 524 returned 5.5 meters of 13.5 grams per ton of gold and 200 grams per ton of silver. So some great concentrations there. Relatively small intercepts, but nonetheless very high concentrations. A little bit about the company. They're an exploration company focused on gold, silver, and copper in Argentina. Last at $1.76. High of $1.77, so it looks like they're right at the 52-week high. Low of 63 cents, market cap of $466 million. Moving on to our next company, Bear Creek Mining Corporation on the venture under the symbol BCM. The company is announcing the results of a positive feasibility study for its 100% owned Santa Ana silver deposit located in southern Peru. I've got some highlights which include proven and probable mineral reserves containing 63 million ounces of silver at Santa Ana now bring the company's total reserves to over 321 million ounces of silver and everybody's talking silver these days. Silver has broken the $22 mark. Uh, it's very close to the $23 mark, so everybody is talking silver, something you might want to take a look at. Santa Ana projects pre-tax net present value of $85 million at a 5% discount rate and internal rate of return of 25% at $14.50 per ounce of silver. Obviously, that's way under market right now, but it looks like they're being very conservative in their approach. And after tax net present value of $66 million and internal rate of return of 22%. They're anticipating an 11 year mine life producing 44 million ounces of silver. The cash cost per ounce is $9 over the 11 years of the mine life. Capital costs are uh, anticipated to be approximately $70 million with payback in approximately three and a half years at silver trading at $14.50 an ounce. Uh, now, a little more current, uh, using the more current figures at $22.92 per ounce of silver the project would have a pre-tax internal rate of return of 70% and the net present value of 5% of $341 million, significantly higher than the previous figures I discussed. So obviously, the higher the price of silver, the more cost effective, the more profitable this project becomes. Company is last at $6.08, high of $6.35, low of $3.08, market cap of $425 million. And finally, we're going to wrap it up with a gold company, Olympus Pacific Minerals. They trade on the big board, the TSX, under the symbol OYM. The company has announced that they've increased gold production in the third quarter. So that's the third quarter ending September 30th, 2010. They're announcing that gold production was at approximately 9,310 ounces of gold. Uh, production for the last four quarters now stands at 35,000 ounces of gold cumulatively. And a little bit about the company, they're positioned to expand gold production in Southeast Asia from its core properties and has established a production timeline that increases the company's annualized production to 80,000 ounces of gold by the third quarter of 2011. Last at 60 cents, high of 67, low of 22, market cap of approximately $200 million. That's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to join us again here tomorrow. We've got more great press releases and halts at the open for you.